Hey everyone, I'm Fire Dragon of Format, and this is my unboxing of the Assassin's Creed 2 Play Arts Ezio figure here. Um, I haven't seen many of these on YouTube, so I thought I'd do one. Um, I've seen like maybe one or two videos, I haven't really seen an unboxing or anything, but this should be fairly easy to do. So, here's the actual figure itself, and it's packaging, pretty good packaging, pretty loud packaging as well. So, that's the actual uh, box there, as you can see it's got kind of the Assassin's Creed symbol inside. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good overall. Sorry, shaky, shaky camera for a second there. Anyway, so yeah, that's the kind of stuff we've got on the back. Uh, it's pretty, you know, it's a simple design, but I mean, it's quite effective. It uses the Assassin's Creed white and red colours, and there is some sort of instruction thing in here. Let's see if we can focus on this. There we go. Look how good I am for you guys, see? Blank on the back. She's got some instructions on how to set up some of the different weapons, his hand, things like that. Let's put that focus back. Rack the focus. Okay, so this is the actual figure in the packaging here. Uh, he's got like his daggers or something. See, I've played Assassin's Creed and I love it. That's why I bought this. I don't even know the names of some of these things. It'd be helpful, wouldn't it, if I didn't know? Anyway, let's uh, let's get this unpackaged. I don't want to make this too long of a video. Um, because I just want you guys to see kind of the figure, which is what you've all come here for. Oh, the sword just decided to come out. So that's uh, the sword here, and it, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, again, I'll, uh, I'll throw the focus for you here so you can see it a bit closer up. I mean, that's pretty nice. It's pretty damn long as well. I mean, in comparison to my hand, you can kind of see it. It's pretty big, so we're talking about quite a big figure here. So let's uh, put the poor focus back there. If anyone's wondering, I'm using a Canon 550D to film this. Um, it's pretty dark in here, so it's holding up not too bad considering how dark it is in this room. Um, so I didn't really want this to be one of my usual, like, 15 minute long unboxings. Man, this is taking a while. Okay, probably went off the camera there. Anyway, so let's get the figure out. Let's have a look at the figure. I mean, from a distance here, we could see. That is amazing. I mean, it feels really good as well. Um, he's got a really good weight about him as well. Um, I'll push him further back so you guys can see him in all his glory. I'm not sure if he's going to stand up on the carpet here. I might be able to get him to maybe not fall over. There we go. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Right, I'll show you uh, some close-ups here. So, rack the focus, as I say. So, I mean, I mean, that's pretty nice there. Got all the kind of detail on the back. Yeah, I should really be close showing you this here. I mean, it looks really, really nice. It's an overall a really, really nice figure. Um, and what I do like is the head as well, which I'm showing on a side here, but it's kind of like shattered because of the, the uh, hood. I really like that, it kind of gives that uh, kind of like hidden, dangerous look to Ezio. Alright, so we'll get him to stand up there. I have a very bad feeling that he's going to fall over. I'll make him in focus for you guys there. There we go. It's a good shot of him. So, we'll go back through the box, see what else we've got. I'll just start putting it down here with him. Kind of on the floor, I'm not sure if you can see that. So we've got this weapon here, along with the sword I showed you earlier. And what else we've got in here? We've got what would seem to be his hidden blade. And another one. Yeah, that's what this would look like to me. So that's uh, them there. We'll go through these a little bit more. So there, and then you've got two hands to choose from, which I guess are for the weapons. And they are uh, kind of like this gripping hand with his gauntlet on and just a bare hand. Um, so yeah, this is a, a really, really nice uh, figure. If anyone is a fan of figure collecting and or Assassin's Creed, you know, I'd really recommend you picking this up. 
There we go. Nice little view there. I will just quickly get for you guys, I'm going to light this up a little bit, because it is surprisingly dark in here. So you can have a good uh, look at this. Okay, so I'm back guys, here we go, we can get a nice look on him here. Here we go, look. If you want me to, I will do this. We will go a little handheld here. Get that nice and in focus on him. Okay, we can see it. You can see the detail there. On Ezio, we will zoom in on his feet a little bit there. And also on the floor there, we can see the the items. I'll put that light off now. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess this is the hidden blade. We'll go through that once I've actually got him holding some stuff and I'll show you guys what he looks like displayed as well. So I will be back in a moment. Okay everyone, so this is him in his uh, display case. I haven't really got it fully set up here yet. Look at that looks in focus. So yeah, there we go. That is the uh, Play Arts Etsio from Play Arts, I guess. I don't know. Where is it from? Square Enix. Oh wow. That's cool. So yeah, that's the Assassin's Creed 2 Ezio Play Arts, uh, I guess manufactured by... Uh, pretty cool. It's all Japanese on the back, I can't really read. But yes, there is the box, I'll put that just behind there for you. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, I don't know how much of this I'll be cutting out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Check my out my uh, Check out my channel, which has been uh, relaunched as Fire. Uh, for gaming videos, other unboxings, and vlogs. See you guys next time. Bye!